So I've been sitting here trying to do some editing for footage I have from Tasmania and what I realized is that I'm a terrible vlogger. So I have so much gorgeous footage uh, from all the things I've done but I have no explanations or anything like that. So you're just going to have to kind of bear with me while I include these like post, um, post trip thoughts so you can kind of know what's been going on. So yes, welcome to the P.S. or the editing me. So after this first week in Tasmania, what we did was we drove up to Freycinet National Park. Now this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in the world. We went on some quad bike tours, which were spectacular, highly recommend uh, you do that, or any of the other tours really in the area. It was quite bad weather, so I would have preferred to go on a kayak tour or something like that, but it was relatively cold. After we walked around the beautiful countryside and yeah, just decided to stay in Bichamo uh, because that is where the Tasmanian Devils are. Now the Tasmanian Devils are only located in Tasmania and they are extremely endangered and you'll hear a bit more about why that is but they're amazing little creatures. Basically, this place we went was a national park where they're rehabilitating, no, they're keeping a healthy population safe there just in case the outside population all comes down to this disease. What happens is they have just developed a vaccine to fight the tumor disease, which they have given to these individuals, and then hopefully they'll be able to release them into the wild and they'll be tumor free. But until then, uh, they're just keeping this population nice and healthy and they kind of provide a place where they feed them every night. And um, it's completely, um, well not completely, but it's as nature-like as possible. So they put one wallaby there, they make sure not to put too much. And some nights only one or two of these Tasmanian devils comes, or the night when I was there, quite a few came. So it was an incredible experience, highly recommend it, and all proceeds go, of course, to their research and to taking care of these beautiful animals. Abrasions to one another's face. The disease cells enter here, and tumors grow so large on the devil's face, it impedes their feeding. So invasive is the disease, it's even known to dissolve their jawbone. And sadly, the poor devil will starve to death in as little as two to three months. Now there is no cure for DFTD. It is one of the rarest diseases amongst the animal kingdom. There is no bacteria, no parasite, no virus. A very much unexplained disease in terms of how to combat it. What we do have, however, is a vaccine developed fairly recently, only late 2015 which has started to be administered to devils who are then released back into the wild, exposing them to the disease. But that's because we need to find out if it'll have any success. I'll fill you in on some of the successes over the last three to three and a half years.
after the Tasmanian Devils, uh, we heard from some locals in Bichamo that there's actually sea lions located on the rocks just outside of the town. So we decided to take the drone and fly over there and just see what the sea lions were up to. Beautiful, beautiful place in the world. If you ever have the chance, highly recommend it. After we saw the sea lions, we kind of packed up the car, the van, van life, and decided to head up further north. So yeah, if you're curious to see the third part of my journey, the third part of van life, just stick around. Uh, I'm really enjoying sharing some of my travel footage with you. If you guys are interested in more travel footage, I have plenty of it. Um, but yeah, just let me know down below uh, how much traveling you'd like to see from me. So yeah. All right, thanks so much for watching. Um, keep living the good life. Keep taking care of our planet. I uh, love you guys, bye.